a disobedient child recklessly jeopardizes the lives of countless innocents for the sake of a toy and is rewarded, we know we're upside down in Fairyland. Do even dribbling dreamers desire such a place? The forest has been off limits for years. Now, an ambitious huntsman claims that he can bag the homicidal maniac who lives there and render the woods safe for decent people. Fear is a complete stranger to me, my friend. I have discovered the fiend's lair. Bring pails and some rope. We'll expose the monster. Well demanded, son. But reasonable questions find few answers in fairy tales. Resting, cramps, etc. And he's afraid of pails. No bollocks, just bail. They find the fiend and dub him Iron John. Well, why not? Looks more like that creaky, heartless tin head from Ozlan to me, but who cares? They lead him back to the castle without a fuss. Strange what passes for monstrous. This cage once held Mama's favorite woolly mammoth. It will be sufficient for Iron John. Oh, joy! To frolic in the forest without being eaten, and our native witches can get on with their incantations, spells, and satanic rituals. The brute is impotent. The prince can play beside this erstwhile child killer. Let no one open the cage, on pain of death. Take the key, my dear. But as all trivial pursuits are ripe occasions for disaster in Grimm, the prince's golden ball rolls into the cage. Give me my ball, please, Iron John. Unlocking closure to commence spherical item transfer routine. No, I mustn't. The king has forbidden it. Conditions to initiate transfer protocol not met. Request rejected. Request rejected. Beep, beep, beep. Stop data transfer. Beep. Oh, cruel Iron John. For three days running, the prince returns and asks for his ball. Each time, Iron John denies him, so to speak. But on the fourth day, the boy takes a new tack. I could not open the door even if I wished to, for I don't have the key. Retrieve device from female relative's sleeping quarters. Quick as boiled asparagus, the boy brings the key and opens the door. Oh, Iron John, take me, or I shall be beaten. Beaten does not compute. Exoskeleton useless. Intelligence negligible. Opposable thumbs may have value. Come. When the king and queen find an empty cage and their son gone, they guess what has happened. And much grief reigns in the royal court. Stupidity does not preclude sadness. Back at his forest hideaway, Iron John orders the prince to let nothing fall into his well. But the careless lad has already touched the water with his hand, and a stray hair has wafted in too. Both have turned to gold. Error, error, error. Systematic failure detected. Further malfunction equals termination. Beep, beep, beep. Terms of final warning breached. Adios. It was an accident. It wasn't my fault. My mother should have cut my hair. Cease. Failure not fatal. Return for upgrade or assistance. Exit. The prince wanders aimlessly and then finds work at the palace. First in the kitchen and then as a gardener. After some years, his appearance earned him the notice of the royal princess. But nothing really happens until a war begins. I am grown up and must go to war, but not with this nag. Iron John! Iron John! Iron John! Fully functional, fully featured, equine quadruped provided. Additional options available separately. Iron John! Iron John! Iron John! Audio receiver operational. Speak. Take back your war horse and your troops, and give me back my lame nag. All that he asks is done, and soon he's riding home on his three-legged horse, happy as a clam. An 
unknown knight carry the victory for us. I proclaim a feast. The princess shall throw out these three golden apples. Perhaps the unknown hero will come to catch them. Don't expect logic from a king. When he hears about the feast, the prince calls on Iron John and asks to catch the princess's golden apples. And Iron John says, Data transmitted, checks on affirmative. And each day, the prince, in sumptuous armor, catches the apple and promptly rides away. Who is this naughty knight? He won't tolerate that. He must appear before me, pursue him, and if necessary, stab him, Parker like said. Logic? <laughs> During the chase, the prince is wounded and loses his helmet, exposing his golden hair. And the princess recognizes him as the gardener's helper. I know who the shy warrior is, and I want to marry him post-haste. Arrange a wedding. Are you the one who caught the golden apples? Yes, and I am the knight who helped you conquer your enemies. I owe you thanks. And as it pleases my daughter, you may take her to wife. Not standing on ceremony and long engagements, the deed is done. The prince's parents attend the wedding. How they found out about the nuptials, who knows? Telepathy? Smoke signal? Coded message? Carrier pigeon? Invisible ink? Telegraphy? Message in a gum wrapper. TV! No bloody idea. I'm called Iron John, and was as I was on account of an enchantment. But you have set me free from the curse. All the royal treasures I possess shall be yours. Well, there you have it. The ridiculous eclipsed by the incredible. Enchanted? By whom? For what reason? Cursed to be filthy rich and magically potent? And how did the prince set him free from this miserable estate? Not relevant, evidently. They all live happily ever after, I'm sure. Well, they would, wouldn't they? Nonsense comes in many flavors. Do I detect a whiff of camel dung?